Hey guys, just a quick little review type video today because my foam samples recently arrived because, you know, I'm working on a very big build and I need foam now. So as many of you probably know, I am currently working on a big quad suit of a terror dog from Ghostbusters and I've been putting a lot of thought in lately trying to decide what foam I want to build the bodysuit out of. Upholstery foam is really inexpensive, honestly. Unless you're trying to get it through a local craft store, then it's a little pricier. You're paying the same amount of money, but you're only getting a really small project roll. I've been looking into alternative places to get this from. Now, normally I get my foam through a local foam warehouse, and they just give me scraps, which is really great for certain projects, but for projects where I need a consistent thickness for a full suit, it's really not ideal to use scraps. So I've been looking into other suppliers I can use to get big sheets of foam, because that's really what I needed for this project. So I found a place online. Uh, their website is foambymail.com, but their actual business name is The Foam Factory and they're located in Michigan. I contacted them because I wanted to see if I was able to get samples before I went gung-ho and just bought a whole bunch. And she was very helpful and she said that they could send me a few different ones. So I also got samples of some of their other types of foam because they also had L200, some other stuff, just to see what else they had. So I'm gonna show you my samples and everything they sent me and see what you guys think. And then I'm going to show you what I ended up buying because it actually arrived today. Woo. So, um, yeah. So let me show you what I got. Like I said, this is all from the foam factory located in Michigan. And the samples that I requested were main, I mainly wanted to see their poly foam just to make sure it was comparable to what I've been using in the past. But I also grabbed some other stuff that looked like it could be useful for a costume in the future. So I got their super soft foam, which is another type of poly foam. It's just much softer and squishier, supposedly. Uh, dry fast, another open celled foam that just apparently is dries really fast. And then the other two were uh, cross linked polyethylene and mini cell. Those are more those are closed celled foams, so more like an EVA type foam. And I was really curious to see about those because the mini cell is is what they call their L200. So I was really curious to see what that's like in person because everybody uses it and talks about it, but I've never, I don't know anyone locally that has it. So it wasn't like I could just be like, oh, that's what that's like. So, but we got some samples. So now we can look at it. So here's what I got. I got these little two inch cubes of the open cell foams and these little tiny half inch bits of the closed cell foam. So I this was obviously the most important one to me because it's the cheapest and it's the one I have used most often in the past and that's just generic poly foam, mattress foam, upholstery foam. It's low density so if you've ever seen the the green stuff at like a Joann Fabrics that stuff is super high density. It's good for mattresses and cushions and stuff, but not really costume making because it's super heavy. But for some people, that's all they have access to. But, so their poly foam, it's pretty much like any poly foam I've used. The density is about on point. It is about as stretchy or non-stretchy as any other one was. So, so that's great. It's basically the same thing. The dry fast foam, I couldn't tell from the picture that it was so spongy looking. It's like those black makeup sponges almost. I mean, it's cool. I'm not going to make a costume out of it, but but I, I got it because it, it didn't look like this in the picture, so I really wasn't sure about that, so that's that. The Super Soft, I was really excited about <laughs> the Super Soft because it is really soft and squishy, but it just, it's not going to be as strong for the sake of a big bodied costume but it is super duper squishy. So I do like it, just it's obviously not gonna be super ideal. And then the other two, this is the Mini Cell L200. So this is what a lot of people in the industry make big foam costumes and props out of. And a lot of people have described it as being very similar in 
quality and density as an EVA foam would be. Their website described it a little differently, so I wasn't really sure what to expect, but to me it's, it's, it's different. Like, it just feels different. Like, the finish on this particular one is very different. I have a, pic a piece of EVA foam just as thing to show you and compare. EVA foam, it's very unfinished feeling, whereas this is very shiny and slippery on the outside. So probably not good for any type of burning type situation. But even if you look at, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but the way, like this has a very smooth slice, but this, the interior of it just looks different. And as far as density goes, like this is not high density EVA foam. This is just regular. I think this is TNT cosplay EVA foam. Is pretty freaking stiff. It's pretty dense. And this stuff, it's it's so bendy. Like that's really cool, honestly. I like that. And then I got this other one. This is two pound density. What the heck is this called? Cross linked polyethylene foam. So this is more similar to EVA foam than the L200 is, but still different. I can't explain to you the chemical composition that makes it different, but if it's EVA versus XLPE, they're both polyethylene, but they're different. And the main difference I notice is how stretchy and flexible this is. Like I, I can do it with this, but this is just so much more forgiving, I feel like. Like, I feel like I could twist this into a ball and it would still go back to being flat. Like, I just, I like the density of this better. Granted, I have not tested yet to see if it behaves the same way as far as heating and burning goes. But right off the bat, I'm just like, I really want to make something out of this. Just, it's, it's cool. It's very cool. So those are the samples that I got. But the coolest thing about the samples that they sent me is that they sent them to me with paperwork. Ooh, paperwork, exciting. Doesn't seem very exciting, but all of these types of foam, they sent me tech sheets. So I can literally compare them side by side as to which is gonna be the strongest, which is gonna tear the easiest, which is the heaviest. And for this one in particular, they also included this handy dandy price sheet. Like they never wanna include prices. But this, so this was, and it says, you know, generally what they advise you use this for. So this was really, really helpful for me. Cause uh, I could, like the super soft, I considered to be very similar. So I could literally look at them side by side and say, oh, well, the poly foam is a little bit denser the airflow is the same. The tensile strength of the polyfoam is way better. So that's obviously a good thing for me. You know, tear strength, resiliency. That's, that's, that's all like super cool stuff to know. Cause then I can actually compare them side by side. It really makes me wish that I had tech sheets for the EVA foam that I have now. So I could compare directly as to how it compares to what I've been using all this time. So that kind of thing is really interesting to me. But one thing I'll point out since I have the sheet in front of me is the prices. This is not that expensive. So if you if you look at uh, the third of a sheet, which is 82 by 24 inches, that's still bigger than what you'd get as a project roll from a Joann Fabrics or a Hobby Lobby. They'll charge you the same price as a full sheet or a half sheet. For that little baby sheet and I know there's a lot of markup because they're accounting for using coupons and stuff like that but another issue with that is that you can't cut any pieces that are bigger than 82 72 by 24 whatever the measurement is so with this you can get full sheets that are 82 by 76 inches so you have no restrictions on how big a single piece could be which is really really helpful with big costumes in particular or just when you don't want to have to waste a bunch because you only have this very small dimension 
so that's really cool but you can you can see th these prices are not bad at all full sheets 82 by 76 inches for one inch which is like an average in the middle thickness for the sake of a costume you could go much thicker or thinner if need be but it's only 25 bucks and it's 82 by 76 inches now for the costume I'm building just just to give you an idea this is my my scale model my pattern that I made and I need two of each piece obviously because I only patterned half of it this big old monster the actual pattern pieces are almost nine and a half times that size and so I, I don't know offhand what the finished size of the costume is, but I can fit almost all of those pieces, every single one, on a single full sheet of foam. Now, I'm going to get extra just to be safe, obviously, but I can do the entire costume with one sheet, which if I even went all the way up to three inches, that's only 75 bucks for the whole thing. Like, that's your whole costume, basically. So, like that's totally awesome and I just you know you can't get you can't get it this cheap and this big from your local craft store it's just not gonna happen but there are other suppliers out there if this one happens to be too far from you or whatever but um so it's not as expensive as you think it is it can be but it doesn't have to be so they sent me these text sheets for for all of the samples that I got, which was awesome. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know I was gonna get these, but it's been super freaking helpful in me making a decision because I'm terrible at making decisions. But, and they sent the re a really large packet for the, the two closed cell phones that I got because they come in a lot of different thicknesses, densities, colors. But it allowed me to look at these two closed cell foams side by side and see which was stretchier which was stronger and i just can't get over how freaking helpful that is so so yeah and these these samples were completely free they didn't charge me anything i literally I, I double checked to make sure i was like do you need me to pay for shipping or anything like that but they just they just sent them to me in a bubble envelope i had them in about a week and while I did really want to do experiments with these, I just couldn't, these are more expensive, these closed cell ones. So like the L200, I don't know if there was a price sheet. Oh yeah, there is a price sheet with this one. So the two pound density L200, if you compare these prices to the regular polyfoam prices, if you get a quarter inch at the small, or they don't have the small size for this one. So if we go up to an inch, the smallest sheet at one inch is $8.99 for the polyfoam, but one inch at the smallest size of this is $29. So it is much more expensive, but it's stiffer. It serves a different purpose. So I feel like to really get an idea if I wanted to use this for any part of my costume, I'd need a big sheet of it to figure out, you know, the pull when I have a big piece or the stiffness when I put something together with it. So I didn't end up buying either of these. I do want to play around with them. I do want to buy a few sheets and just make something out of it, but I couldn't commit to it at the moment because I really wanted to buy foam I knew I would use if it doesn't work out because I'm always using upholstery foam, so I had no problems committing to buying a lot of that. So what I ended up buying, I only bought this one and I bought it in three different thicknesses. I bought their, I bought half inch, one inch and one and a half inch, just because I'm not exactly sure which thickness I want. I don't know if even the final product will be made out of upholstery foam, but it's the cheapest option. And another thing I was concerned with is this particular company offers free shipping over $75. And I was really determined to get free shipping because while their, their shipping rates are not that horrible because they're closer to me, I still would rather get free shipping if I could, which is why I was kind of determined to buy foam I knew wouldn't get wasted because I didn't want to just tack some extra foam on and then never use it. So that's why I got what I did and it added up to literally $76. So I was like, it was meant to be, that's what we're gonna do. So I got three different thicknesses to try and play around with and I know they'll get used for something even if I don't use it for this costume. So that's what I ordered, I got the free shipping and it literally arrived today and i'm so excited so 
I guess that about explains all my samples. So let's go check out the foam. My foam from Foam Factory has arrived. I thought it was gonna come in three huge boxes, but literally this tiny little box contains three sheets of 82 by 76 inch foam of varying thicknesses. I don't know how they got it in here. I'm assuming it's super vacuum, but we're gonna open it up and see what happens. So it wasn't as explosive as I wanted it to be. But that's okay. Still beautiful. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The opening of the box wasn't quite as exciting as I wanted it to be, but I guess if I want a full-blown explosion, I need much thicker foam and much more shoved into a single box. So maybe next time. I hope maybe this answers any questions about potentially ordering foam for yourself. I know it's a little intimidating to go ahead and order a sheet of foam that's literally seven foot by six foot. It's it's a lot for a single person. I know it is for me in my current situation. I'm locked in a garage during quarantine and I have absolutely no room for a foam that size. So I literally have to cut it in my driveway. But I hope this shows you that it's not as intimidating and crazy as it seems. I don't know. I just feel like there need to be more ginormous foam costumes out there. So. I hope this little review was helpful, so I will see you guys next time, but until then, stay tuned for awesome.